Curbside Pickup by Triscribe. Chapter 9, Exchange Student. <laughs> Peter couldn't bring himself to step forward. Don't tell me you weren't expecting this, the girl on the motorbike grinned. Honestly? No. Well, what do you want to stay here and keep staring at, white boy? Or are we going to go? Peter glared long and hard at Princess Shuri. And the only reason he didn't immediately fold was thanks to the fact that she was the same age as him. Did you have to bring the sidecar? Shiri's eyes grew wider. I approve, MJ said from behind him. Peter didn't have to look at her to know that she was smirking. I'm going to look ridiculous. This is undignified. It's not like you have much dignity left at this point, Ned spoke up. Peter sighed and got in the sidecar. Beaming, Shiri fired up the engine. Here we go. Wait, this thing doesn't have a seatbelt. Later, Peter was furiously protest, MJ laughing at his terrified screech, claiming it was more of a startled yelp than when the Wakandan teenager rocketed them out into the lane line of traffic. At the time, however, he was more focused on clutching his backpack with one hand and the room of the sidecar with the other, because Shiri drove like a mad woman. If we get pulled over by a cop, I am so not vouching for you, he yelled at one point. The princess's response was to throw back her head and laugh. Seriously, where did you learn to drive? At home. And don't worry, I'm certified for six different countries. How many of them are the places that you drive on the right side of the road? Sherry didn't deign to answer that. By the time they cleared the city limits, Peter was grateful to still be alive. Running red lines, taking corners at high speeds, practically ignoring the rules of right of way, and nearly getting them ploughed into on multiple occasions. It was a miracle they only had a couple of scratches as evidence of the high speed adventure. I thought New York City was supposed to be exciting to traverse. Sherry said, that was almost boring. Peter shot her incredulous look. What exactly do you consider exciting? The Wakandan girl laughed. High speed chases, outrunning storms, racing against Nakia, that kind of thing. You're crazy. Crazy like a fox? Eh? Eh? Sherry grinned teasingly. And despite still coming down from the terror-induced adrenaline rush, Peter couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Love that one. Next chapter, guys. Chapter 10 beats the subway. So, is anyone going to pick you up next week? Ned asked as he and Peter headed to their lockers. Mr. Stark and Miss Potts were planning to, but something came up in their schedule for the wedding. So I think it's just going to be happy giving me a ride home. Oh. But they both promised to come drive me to and from the dance since May's on a shift. Peter grimaced, still talking as he emptied out the last bits and bobs from his locker. Honestly, though, I think that's less getting the jump start on the stuff of the compound and more an excuse to see me dressed up. After zipping his backpack closed, the boy turned around to see Ned grinning at him. Oh, dude, they have so adopted you. He laughed as Peter spotted. MJ arrived then, having only listened to Peter's protest for a moment before she sided with Ned. Come on, Parker, at this point all the Avengers have pretty much claimed you as their kid. Why else would they find excuses to come pick you up from this dump? They enjoy giving me heart attacks. Yeah, which is something all older family members get a kick out of doing. Trust me on this. As the three of them started walking towards the front entrance, MJ gave Peter a side-eye glance. So, you going to dance with me on Friday? Superpowers notwithstanding, the kid tripped over air and nearly fell flat on his face. Whoa, 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 what? Never mind, MJ muttered, increasing her speed. Standard took a nudge from Ned to get Peter to hurry after. Hold up! Yes, I will definitely, I mean, I want to, but, you know, not if it would make you uncomfortable, Peter stammered. His friend had suddenly halted in mid-step. Peter just barely came to a stop before slamming into her. Uh, MJ? Young Peter! Flinching at the unexpected yell, Peter leaned over to look past MJ and gaped when he saw a pair of figures waiting for him on the base of the stairs. We come to fetch you from the halls of learning. Oh boy. Thor looked delighted, big and boisterous and clearly not of earth despite his the casual clothes he wore. Standing just out of accidental smacking range was a much more finely dressed figure, one of whom Peter had only met a couple of times. Hey Thor, he called jogging downstairs. Hey Doctor Strange. Mr. Parker, the wizard greeted. Are you ready to depart? Yeah, yeah, I'm... Wait, no, gotta finish talking to MJ. You can talk to your girlfriend later, Strange interrupted. I have important matters scheduled for this afternoon, and the only reason I'm here at all was to prevent a certain disasters that would come from him operating a human vehicle. 
He jerked his head towards Thor, who grinned wider. Words, she's not my girlfriend yet, died on Peter's lips. So, wait, you're gonna drive us? Who said anything about driving? Strange swiped his hands through the air, and a swirling vortex of orange light spun into existence like a window into the living room at Avengers Tower. Come! I am glad that our paths are aligned for this weekend, young Parker, Thor boomed, clapping a hand against around the kid's shoulders and practically dragging him through the portal after Strange. My good friend Valkyrie is visiting as well, and I wish to gain your assistance in setting up a Midgardian date between her and Lady Sif. Half listening to the god, Peter twisted as much as he could to send MJ a quick wave just before the portal closed. Right, he murmured. Date. End of chapter. Hi, guys. Hope you enjoyed that because that was friggin' hilarious. Thor <laughs> <laughs> and Strange and MJ and Peter just... <laughs> Accidental smacking rage. Yes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you guys know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> And hit the bell to get notified. Make sure to have a good day, night, or whatever time zone you're in. Bye, my guys, cars, and non binary pals. I'll see you in another video. Bye! <laughs>